Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video. And my goodness, the MCU. Man, how ha how much have they fallen from Avengers Infinity War to all the garbage that they're actually putting out now? This new Blade movie that's not even getting made yet is supposed to get made. I believe it got announced like in uh, 2019. I love the 1998 Blade movie with Wesley Snipes. That is one of my favorite uh, comic book movies. You you've seen it, right? Yeah, Actually, I like it. Yeah, we watched it. Um, what a few years ago. That movie still holds up today because Wesley Snipes is a martial artist. He's a great actor. He's one of my favorite actors. Um, in the 1990s, but they announced uh, Marshala Ali as the new as the new Blade. And I like him as an actor. He's been in some uh, some good stuff. But there's a problem with this movie. This movie seems to be in production hell right now. We found out some very, very disturbing stuff about what they actually had planned for this movie. It seems like it was actually scrapped. But that doesn't mean that it won't actually happen. Can you actually imagine a Blade movie where Blade isn't even a star in his own movie? Mm -hmm. Well, that was the plan. He wasn't even the co-star. He was going to be the number four star in his own movie. They were going to replace him. Well, not necessarily replace him, but kind of push him to the side for three female leads. And the story was going to be filled with life lessons. This is 2023. Bring back the old Blade movie where Blade was actually fighting uh, Deacon Frost. A lot of blood in that movie. But they want to give us life lessons. Are they serious? Life lesson on what? I, I, I'm not really sure <laughs> what that would have been. But um, look right here, because um, Variety is the one that actually um, posted this. It says here, one person familiar with the script uh, says the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. Blade was relegated to the fourth lead, a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two time Oscar winner Ali on board. I, he's a good actor. And they were going to kick this man to the side. In his own movie. I want to know what was the uh, the three women. And by the way, he's been pissed off about the scripts. He's not. Ha he almost walked away from this movie. Well, I think it should because like the original play is. I mean, there's woman, but the main character is Blade. Wesley. West, Snipes. Yeah, Wesley yeah. Snipes, Blade. Yeah. And if he's going to play that role, he should be the main character. Yeah. But they didn't want him to be the main character. You know, it's kind of like um, I keep um, referring back to the Obi-Wan show. Mm -hmm. You know that um, Lucasfilm really wanted to push Reeve as the main character. They were pushing her story instead of um, Obi-Wan. Yeah. So maybe it was something like that. But when you got three women, because, you know. Women, power, girl power, yay, all of those stuff. You got three of them? Yeah, they're definitely going to push him to the side. So even though that this script right here has been thrown out, I don't believe it's far-fetched to say that they're going to push him to the side for a woman. Th this movie's going to be dead. Well, if it's like... If it's not about him, but the three women with life lesson, whatever life lesson that they're yeah. planning to talk about, it just, I mean, the three women is going to be play or what? I don't know what they were going to do. I don't know who they were going to be, but they did get rid of those writers. And now even this doesn't excite me right here. They hired a uh, Michael Green. He was Oscar nominated for writing Logan, which is a really, really good movie. OK, mm -hmm. but so what? I remember when um, they announced that um, 
that Terminator movie is coming out and Tim Miller, you know, Deadpool, he's going to be making that movie. Terminator Dark Fate was awful. Awful. Yeah. Because they were pushing an agenda in that movie and he came out saying all kind of woke stuff. The movie got trashed and then lost a whole bunch of money. I don't understand why they make another movie like, you know, I mean, since it's not focused on the new guy anymore, which is Blay, play yeah. the role of Blay, and it focus on like three women filled with life lesson, might as well make another story. Yeah, come up with some new characters or something like that. When I when I want yeah. to when I watch Blade, I want to see action, blood, him fighting, you know, a Dracula, yeah. Deacon Frost, whatever. Yeah, because it's already established. Yeah. I mean Wesley Snipe he in set that the movie. Standard. Yeah, he set the standard. And for this new guy coming in and like, you know, take the place of, you know, Blade. Wesley Snipe, yeah. Yeah, Wesley yeah. Snipe. I mean, like for me, Vicky I don't know how that works, but I would try to watch it if he's like the main guy. But now he's not the main guy. It's the woman yeah. with life lesson. It's like, what is this? Yeah, you're a woman and you don't even care for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, because it's like I don't want to. I don't want a life lesson in a comic book vampire kind of horror movie. I don't yeah. need a life lesson. I yeah. want action. I want blood. I mean, for me, I like, okay, you and I already watch, like, we watch Blade together. And, yeah. like, it's already, I mean, Wesley Snap already established that role. Everybody loves him as Blade. Yeah, and, like, it should follow that line. But they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. I'm wondering now what the new script is actually going to be like. Um, they pushed the um, release of this movie. It was supposed to come out next um, September. Mm-hmm. They haven't even started making it. It got pushed to, uh, I think, February of 2025. And I'm still wondering if it's going to get released in because they need to start shooting. And, of course, the actors are on, on strike right now. The writers just got back. So I have no idea. No idea. Now, oh, it does mention here a speculation around town is that studio is looking to make the film uh, on a budget of less than $100 million. You know what? They probably need to because I believe that the movie is going to bomb from wokeness. But if they keep the budget low, keep the marketing low, they may actually make a little bit of money. But I don't see how you actually make an MCU movie for less than a hundred million dollars. I don't see they, they put they're pumping out, you know, three hundred million dollars and they lose money. They got to cut back, which means that if they're cutting back this much. The movie may not come out that great, but even with them spending like three hundred million dollars, the CGI effects looks terrible right now. So they definitely got to cut back on the amount of money, but the story. Oof. Well, you know, people who you know saw the original one. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I'm not sure, but like for me. I probably just like, I'm not going to see it. No, I'm not going to see this. I mean, this sounds like the absolute worst based yeah, on I mean, this. Even though sorry. this this script is not in play anymore, mm-hmm. that's pretty bad. Yeah, for me, like having a new guy, like um, redoing the the original movie is kind of like, kind of, like the edge, but I would see it, you know, but I'm not saying this. <laughs> it just this one. It just that they don't have. It's any, a different storyline. Then I I don't even know what sto- the story's gonna be. I no, mean, at I one don't point, know. I remember when they first announced this, like months afterwards, they were talking about making a blade a Muslim because Marshall Ali is a Muslim. Why does Blade need to be a Muslim? No, it doesn't he make was, any sense. Um, as I remember, like that, um, he was half vampire, yeah, half, half, half human. Vampire, half human. Nothing to do with being a Muslim. No. Why in the world would they want to do that? That's ridiculous. But that's all I got on this. This is pretty dumb right here. So 
<laughs> Man. Anyway, guys, um, drop a comment. Give a thumbs up on this video. If you like the uh, content, become a channel member or drop a super thanks on this video. Until then, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.